The Biden administration refuses to take responsibility for the border emergency that they started, unsurprisingly, or that they are continuing, honestly. And the Biden administration also stays cagey on whether they will be forcing the military members to get the vaccine, the communist vaccine. Crazy. This is the end of hour two of the Jesse Lee Peterson show. It is Monday, May 3rd, 2021, the year of our Lord. Stay tuned for hour three. Jesse Lee will be right back. But first, Hake news, not fake news. After the Jesse Lee Peterson show, do catch the Hake report. The Hake report dot com slash show immigration out of control. The White House chief of staff reports says or claims that the surge in illegal immigration is not Biden's fault. That's a laugh. Am I right? The Epic Times reports Ron Klain. He's the chief of staff. He said on Sunday, people who are sending their children here unaccompanied, children as young as six, seven years old, coming here with no adult who are sent on a dangerous journey. I don't think that is because of a speech Joe Biden gave. Klain told the Face the Nation on the on an interview on Sunday. I think it is because of horrible conditions in El Salvador and Guatemala and Honduras. 18,000 so-called children, including nearly 5,000 minors in Border Patrol custody and more than 13,000 so-called children in custody with Health and Human Services right now. We're working hard to get those children reunited with family members in the U.S., Klain said. The number of children who have stuck in our Border Patrol stations are down 84 percent in the past month. We're making progress on resolving this problem. During the month of March, Border Patrol apprehended 172,000 illegal aliens. An additional thousand per day are evading capture, they say. And in February, border agents apprehended 101,000 more people. Sleazy Pentagon spokesman Jamal Brown said the Department of Defense is proceeding with canceling all border barrier construction projects paid for with funds originally intended for other military mess, blah, blah, blah. The same day, the DHS made the excuse of looking into dangers from the previous administration's approach of border wall construction. In other words, an excuse to stop building the wall. During a recent interview, Biden claimed that his administration has now gotten control of the surge in illegal immigrants at the southern border. It's getting urgent action now, Biden lied to NBC News last week. A month ago, we had thousands of young kids in custody. Now we've cut that down dramatically. Real real reassuring, am I right? Not. And vaccine hype, Biden won't rule out requiring military to get the vaccine. The Epic Times reports that Biden was unclear whether he will make COVID vaccinations, so-called COVID vaccinations, mandatory for all U.S. service members once the shot is fully approved by the Food and Drug Administration. The corrupt FDA. I don't know. I'm going to leave that to the military, Biden told today on Friday. Never a straight answer from Sleazy Joe. And then he says, I'm not saying I won't. I think you're going to see a lot more and more of them getting it. And I think it's going to be a tough call as to whether they're or not they should be required to have to get it in the military. Because you're in such close proximity with other military personnel, he said, making the excuse that, yes, they will. Supposedly, 780,000 U.S. troops are either fully or partially vaccinated as of late April. And of Marines, specifically, according to an April 23rd report, approximately 93,500 Marines received the vaccine. 52,900 Marines declined the shot, about 36%. An additional... 92,300 Marines have yet to be offered one. The Pentagon previously said it has not ruled out mandatory vaccinations. When they become FDA approved, that certainly would change the character of decision-making process about whether they could be mandatory or voluntary. But I don't want to get ahead of the process right now, said DOD Press Secretary and sleazy Democrat Rear Admiral John Kirby, he told disgusting reporters that last month. Marines are typically healthy and young. One guy said they may be deferring until others get it. They may have to get it, may, may have already gotten it on their own. They may be waiting until it's mandatory because they expect it to be mandatory, many of them. Or they may be allergic to one or more compound that's in the vaccine. What a mess. Many are getting um, testing positive even after so-called breakthrough cases. I'm James Hake.